Good morning, people. It's your girl Nat here taking over. <laughs> I've just got my morning tea. Um, yeah. Hi. So as I'm sitting here drinking my tea, I always think I put the milk in first. I wonder how many other people do. <laughs> Honestly, guys, if you don't put the milk in first in a cup of tea, I urge you to do it now because it's going to change your life. I know it's a controversial thought, but put the milk in first, then the tea bag, then the water, and don't tell me that it's not the best cup of tea you've ever had. <laughs> Go and try it. Do you want to say hello, bud? So today... I thought we could do cooking with Natalie. <laughs> so today we are going to be making apple cinnamon oatmeal cookies and they are amazing. Basically guys, I'm going to be giving you a step-by-step -step recipe that you can follow. Um, I'll also put the link in just in case, you know, you want to look at it properly and you can make them with me. Let's make the cookies. So we are going to preheat the oven to... 180 degrees. We want to line two baking trays. Natalie Paris, are you okay, hun? You put the milk in first. There's something wrong with you. Just tea. That's wrong. That's wrong. That is so wrong. Then in a bar, we put the flour, which is 177 grams. I mean, that is very precise, isn't it? Let's just round it up to 180. 120 grams of rolled oats, one teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda, and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Then we're gonna whisk that all together for about 20 seconds. Let's go. Oh, I forgot to turn the plug on. Then in a separate bar, we've got 160 grams of light brown sugar. We add 113, I know very precise again, of unsalted butter. I mean, 113 grams, by the way. Then we mix, and I did put the plug on this time. <laughs> then we add one egg, then one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then we've got 120 grams of finely chopped apple. So the recipe says to add two teaspoons of lemon juice into the apples, but... We don't have any. <laughs> so, um, we're going to go without. P.S. When I was younger, I used to always pretend that I was on a cooking show. <laughs> and I used to like talk to my pretend cameras and be like, so now we're going to add this amount of this. And I feel like I'm living that dream right now. So, I'm happy. P.S. to the P.S. I actually never made anything that was um, edible. So... Yeah, you're welcome, Mum and Dad. Sorry, guys, for the delay. I had to take a Zoom call, but I did leave you in the trusty hands of my assistant. <laughs> <laughs> so, here's how she got <laughs> Hello, everybody. It's Riri here. Um, just to say that Natalie has left me the task of finishing off the cookies because as you know she's doing a zoom call um i'm not very experienced at this so i hope it goes well thank you so as i said nat has left me to take over the cookie making so i have bowls of things <laughs> Okay, so they're in the oven. Um, I've set my timer for 20 minutes and then we'll have a look. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm still not over that video. <laughs> squashing, squashing. 
I'm back for the finished results. <laughs> Here they are guys, the finished cookies. They look so good. If any of you did manage to make the cookies with me today, and Riri. <laughs> then please tag us, mum stop. Please tag us, we really wanna see your cookies <laughs> and enjoy them because they're really really yummy guys Riri just told me that i sound like muttley when i laugh does anyone actually know who muttley is scamp knows scamp knows who he is <laughs> so guys i was just looking at your questions that you wrote on the post and hell c Pless wrote <laughs> would i ever make natalie salon into a broadway musical well guys just you wait. So introducing, for the first time, Natalie Salon! Welcome to Natalie Salon! I need my hair cut, Natalie. <laughs> well, there it is, guys. You saw it first. An exclusive of a snippet into the first number in the brand new musical, Natalie's Salon! You do! You sound like Muttley! I've been going through all of the questions that you commented on the post on the reunion page. So, I'm going to answer some of them. So, this question is from Kina underscore the amazing. And you wrote, what is your favourite song at the moment? I am currently obsessed with Distance by Yeba. I'm just, I just think Yeba's incredible anyway. But, um, yeah distance take me back to the distance 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 late night cooking this next question is from Maggie Eve 06 I hope I'm saying all these right by the way um, and the question is what is your favorite Christmas film and I do love elf but my all-time favorite is the holiday I love it so so much okay this question's come up twice so I'm gonna answer it um from Ali dot Ashley underscore Effa and Dana dot M dot Sing. What is my favourite food? Italian. If I could only eat pasta for the rest of my life, I would be a happy girl. <laughs> this next question is from Rasheen underscore E underscore L. Um, I get asked this question quite a lot actually in Q&As, but I love it. Um, and it is, if you were not doing musical theatre, what would I do instead? Obviously, I own a salon. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, I would definitely love to do something creative. Um, probably something like interior design. Me and Riri watch a lot of interior design programmes and we love it. Um, yeah, I would, I would love to do that. Um, this question is from CareBear1053. Which version of the Mega 6 has been my favourite? Do you know what? When we did it, uh, the workshop version back at the arts in 2018, the Mega 6 was like so different. Me and Amy sing it all the time. There was this like epic moment um, like in the middle of the Mega 6 where like we did like all these harmonies and like it, it was just so fun and um epic <laughs> this question is from stan the pigeon underscore p.s love that username um what is my favorite clothing shop for anyone that knows me knows that i love zara i'm obsessed with zara a lot of you have been asking me if i miss ed or just everything about ed um do you know what i do miss ed i do miss ed but I reckon when Ed comes back into my life, I'll regret saying that. <laughs> this question is from Faith NJ 104 What has been my favourite part about doing the reunion so far? It's definitely being back with the girls again. I love them so, so much. Um, yeah, it's just been a really, really special time. We have the most amazing friendship. We're like a sisterhood. Um, so yeah, getting to be with them again and perform with them again um, has been amazing. This is from cart underscore tunes with two Zs. 
How are you? I'm really good, thank you. How are you? I hope you're well. I hope you're doing okay during lockdown 2.0. It's um, tough times, but we will get through it. Sending you lots of love. This question is from Neve.Francis. How's the salon going? Got any new staff? Well, do you know what, Neve? Funny you should say that because I have just taken on a new Saturday girl um, and she's called Riri. How do you find working at the salon? How do I find working at the salon? <laughs> yeah. Well, um, I'm actually exploited, which is um, really rather worrying. I have to do everything. Um, but you are the new star in the musical venue. So that's sort of fair. Oh yeah, I suppose I have got a starring role, but yeah. they really are making me pay for that. <laughs> this next question is from underscore Sophie McKee underscore. Would I ever do I'm a celebrity? Listen. <laughs> Let's just be real for a sec. I have the biggest phobia of spiders. Like not even like I'm scared of spiders. Like that's serious. Yeah. We reset it. Serious. It's not funny. It's really, really bad. We had accidents in cars and the neighbours being woken to rescue her when I wasn't there. Yeah, it's it's, it's really, bad really, phobia. really bad. So basically, the short answer to that question <laughs> is no. <laughs> However, if Strictly Come Dancing or Dancing on Ice called, that would be a yes. This next question is from Shah underscore senior. Have you ever had any paranormal experiences? Yes. We actually have quite a few. Um, one of our epic paranormal stories. Is, is that even a thing? Paranormal story? Anyway. Experience, experiences. Experiences yeah. led us to the house that we live in today. This question is from Janthony.6. Did I like school? I actually loved all of my school years. I was very lucky. Um, my primary school I loved so much. Um, had the best time. Um, and I was part of this little friendship group called the Pinky Group. Like Pinky when you suck Pinky Promise. Um, yeah, and then I was lucky enough to go to Italia Conti from the age of 12, was it? 11. 11. Um, and again, like, had the best time ever. Um, and I got to sing and dance for half the day. And a lot of my other friends had to do academic lessons all day, every day. So I was the real winner. <laughs> this question is from Almost Zoe. Um, how are Buddy and Scamp getting through lockdown? Do you know what? They're doing really good. They're loving that we're around all the time. Um, Buddy has been very naughty, though, and escaped quite a few which has been terrifying um they're actually here look say hello buds they're being very lazy look at them sleepy boys you got a strike like you mean it free your mind it's not enough Just dream it come on come on yeah. guys i'm gonna sign off now but me and Ruby have had so much fun just being silly today <laughs> to entertain you all. Um, so thank you to everyone that stayed tuned the whole day. <laughs> um, yeah, can't get over how many of you don't put your milk in first. It is a game changer. Um, but yeah, I hope you've all had a lovely day and sending you lots of love. <laughs>